Hi everyone, this is going to be a great video because we're going to be connecting our GNS3 onto the live internet. Now this is the topology, the topology with which we're going to work with right now. Um, this is a virtual machine running VMware, well VMware virtual machine running Windows 7 and this is going to be our internet. Now the magic here is this, this internet is going to be the local host which is the PC right here. Uh, which is the PC right here and this router is going to connect to your local PC and access the internet and the signals are going to get transmitted now to your virtual machine PC which is Windows 7. I hope you understand the magic or the sequence through which that works. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Now the first step of this is we're going to configure the GNS3 interfaces. Mm, let's configure our PC. This is our host PC, the Windows 7 computer. I will use the VMNet 4 net, the VMNet 4 host ad um, adapter. And the cloud right here, which is the internet, we will connect it to our host machine, which is the Ethernet adapter right here. I know with you can make it work with the Wi-Fi, but there's some tweaks to it, which I will be making a video on that. So let's apply that. So these two are connected. Now our next step is to configure the VMware interfaces. So let me pull up my virtual machine. Come on, come on. Okay. On my virtual machine, I remember on the last one, the network adapter which we used for the Windows 7. This is the one we're trying to configure right now. We are using the custom VMNet 4 host only adapter. So that is connected. So right now this is what we've done. This one is connected to the router. Well this one is connected and this is connected. So now let's add our cables. I always like to use my switch so I can add a bunch of PCs to this other network. I'll be doing a video on how to use DHCP to share the IP addresses to a whole network on this end. So for this side, let us use fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. And for the other side, let's use 0 slash 1. And there we go. Okay, now everything is connected. Mm, let's first of all let's turn on, turn on a router and while it is powering it powering up I will bring up the local host machine to make sure it is not connected to the internet so we will ping the Google DNS address 8.8.8.8 .8 and as you see it's not going through okay so we will have to fix that now the next step we're going to do right now is to configure our router interfaces. Let's make that big. So let me bring our topology one small so we can refresh our memories. This interface is going to be connected to the one, it's the 192 network and this other interface is the 10.0 network. So let's go and ahead and get those configured interface 0 slash 1 the IP address 192 sorry 192.168.1.171 we can use any IP address within that range 255.0 that's my net mask and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna configure a, a static route now the static route is gonna take every packet from here and send it to this other network so let's do that IP route from every network any network to any network should go to 192.168.1.1 not let me explain what I just did I created an IP route for any network that is basically this network is going to go to this network so any packet leaving this network to this network should be transmitted to this IP address which is let me pull it up 
which is our local our default gateway right here 192.168.1.1 so every packet from this network to this network is forwarded to this IP address which is this one which is the internet and we're going to do that translation so that every packet coming back will be translated to the host IP to the host packet which is routable okay that is done let's configure the other interface interface I have forgotten which one that is F zero slash zero facet net zero slash zero IP at is a ten dot zero dot zero dot one since it's the default gateway and the net mask dot zero let's turn it up or oh, I didn't turn up the other interface okay there we go now we can do our first ping there we go we can ping the internet that's a Google DNS address and it's going through quite good so step one is complete but now if we launch a ping from our, lo our local host computer it is not going to go because we still need to configure NAT address translation like I mentioned let's just let's just try why we at it oh one thing I forgot we need to configure our local host machine to this one to this network because it's part of this network so we got we have to give it an IP address in the in the 10.0 network so let's do that right now Then dot zero dot zero dot. Now let's do two. The IP address two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Default gateway is ten dot zero dot zero dot one, which is the default gateway of our router. Mm, let's use. I was like using that since we just testing. Okay now we are good to go now we can ping our default gateway see it, it already pops that up since it's connected to the network let me use that so if we ping our default gateway 10.0.0.0.1 it's gonna go through that's a step ahead but if we ping that will not go through so let's fix that right now where's my terminal okay so to fix that we will create an access list IP access list one permit everything from the 10 network to any network oh, that it always does that so let me copy let me copy the command and paste it there we go now we've created an access list <coughs> we've created an access list and we got we're gonna go ahead and set the NAT interfaces now this is gonna be our inside NAT and this is gonna be our outside NAT since this is the internet and this is our insight so let's go to the interfaces interface fa0 slash 0 IP not inside it's taken a little while perfect the other interface interface fo0 slash 1 IP not outside now what the next thing we're gonna do still with this is not gonna work the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mm, configure IP not overload so IP not inside source list one that is the access list which we configured every anything in that access list you should route it through interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and overload 
啊。So that's a command and enter. So everything is going to be overloaded and sent to the other IP address. So let me bring up our virtual machine right now and let's try to ping it again and see if it goes this time. There we go. Now it's connected. You see here it just changed. Mm, to confirm my tests, let's go to the internet. There we go. Google. And since I am French, let me check my favorite website. For FR. And we are good to go. So we have successfully connected our GNS3 network onto the live internet. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'd like to thank you for watching.